Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids again with the second instalment of the WWDC 2011 keynote speech that's just been delivered by Steve Jobs. And the second big announcement on the agenda was iOS 5 and all of the new features. And yes, they have done some fantastic additions to this new iOS. First of all, we've got notifications, which include a lock screen. So you're going to get actual uh, information coming through, things like uh, SMS updates, new tweets, etc., all on your lock screen of your device. So before you've even unlocked that handset, you can get access to really important information. And then we've got new notification bar, uh, which is very similar, actually almost identical, but probably implemented slightly differently to the Android OS. Also on iOS 5, we have got um, over-the-air uh, syncing, so no more uh, requirements for cables to plug your device into your Mac to get new data on and off of it, so that is really fantastic news. We've also got new Twitter integration, so Twitter now integrates with things like photos, uh, maps, etc., which makes it a lot easier to tweet out messages uh, to all of your followers. And then we've got a new version of mobile Safari, which does actually look really nice. Not only does it introduce things like a reading list, but also tabbed browsing, which is a very welcome addition to the browser. We've also got new to-do lists, and now that might sound like a simple application, but they've taken things one step further, whereby your tasks can actually be triggered by your location. So if, for example, you've put a to-do to buy the milk, you can actually trigger that reminder when you go past the local supermarket. The camera application has been updated as well, We've got uh, some new controls for the camera. The volume up button now allows you to take a picture, so it acts as a shutter button. And that's really strange because they even took some apps down from the App Store, uh, I think earlier this year, because they sort of remapped the volume buttons to be used as a shutter button. So it seems like Apple wanted to keep that to themselves. Uh, there's also AE and AF lock, pinch to zoom, and you can also edit your photos from within the photo application, so that's really cool. The email application, or the mail app, on the iPhone and iPad have both been updated as well. Uh, on the iPhone and the iPad, we get things like flagging of messages, which is really nice. And it looks like on the iPad only, we can also split the keyboard. So when you're using it in portrait orientation, you can split the keyboard in half and then do sort of thumb typing on either side of the screen. There's also an update to Game Center, but probably the highlight for me is the new iMessage application, which allows you to message other iOS device users without using up your text allowance. So if you're on an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you can use a BlackBerry Messenger-like service to get in contact with all your friends. So that concludes the iOS uh, announcement at WWDC. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel. There will be a link live in this video very soon, which will take you to part three of my coverage, where Steve Jobs makes a really exciting announcement.